Hello students, welcome to Read Med Prep Academy channel. Today in Organisms and Populations Part 3, we are going to talk about the concept of biome and the distribution, introduction to biome, types of biomes and major biomes of the earth. Let us first talk about the concept of biome and the distribution. What are biomes? Biomes are large regions of the earth that have similar or common vegetation and climatic conditions. They play a crucial role in sustaining life on earth. They are defined by the soil, climate, flora and fauna. Biomes have distinct biological communities that have been formed in response to a shared physiochemical climate. Biomes are seen to even spread across continents. Here you can see the different types of biomes and the geographical distribution, the tropical rainforest, the temperate forest, the deserts, the tundra, the taiga or the boreal forest, grasslands, savanna, tropical grassland, freshwater, marine water and ice. Thus it can be observed that a biome is a broader term than habitat. Any biome can comprise a variety of habitats, factors such as temperature, light, water availability determine what type of organisms and adaptations are observed in a biome. Characters of a biome Location Geographical position based on the latitude and the longitude Climate and physical chemical environment Predominant plant and animal life Boundaries between biomes are not always sharply defined Transition or transient zones are seen as in case of grassland and forest biomes. You can see the biomes of the earth normally with the decreasing moisture and the decreasing temperature from hot to cold. In the base you can see the rainforest which is wet, then the savanna, then the desert which is dry. All these three are the tropical forests. In the temperate biomes you can see the temperate forest the temperate grassland and the desert which is dry. In the subarctic regions you can see the taiga and in the arctic regions you can see the tundra which is the coldest part of the earth. What are the types of biomes? Biomes are broadly classified as aquatic biomes and terrestrial biomes. Aquatic biomes they occupy about 71% of the biosphere. The aquatic biome is home to millions of aquatic organisms like fishes. The climate of coastal zones are influenced by the aquatic bodies. Aquatic biomes of the earth may be the freshwater biomes like the lakes, ponds and rivers, the brackish waters like the estuaries and the wetlands and the marine biomes like the coral reefs, the pelagic zones and the abyssal zones. Terrestrial biomes. These are large communities of plants and animals that occupy a distinct region. They include the grassland, the tundra, desert, tropical rainforest and deciduous and coniferous forests. Terrestrial biomes are distinguished primarily by the predominant vegetation and are mainly determined by climate which in turn determines the organisms inhabiting them. These include the keystone species and indicator species which are unique to the respective biomes. The terrestrial biomes are a source of food, oxygen and act as carbon dioxide sink apart from the climate regulatory role. Major biomes of the earth which includes the tundra biome, the taiga biome, grassland biome, alpine biome, forest biome and the desert biome. Let us see one by one. The tundra biome. This is the almost treeless plain in the northern parts of Asia, Europe and North America. Winters are long with little daylight. Summers are short with long daylight hours. In the image you can see the tundra biome which is treeless. Precipitation is less than 250 mm per year. It is a zone of permafrost. Dwarf willows, birches, mosses, grasses such as other flora here. The images you can see, the cotton plants, the lichen, the caribou moss, the labrador tea, arctic willow and the bearberry which are present in the biome. Reindeer, 
आर्टिक हेयर मस्क ऑक्स लेमिंग्स आर इम्पॉर्टेंट टुंड्रा हबी वोस सम इम्पॉर्टेंट खानी वोस आर द आर्टिक फॉक्स आर्टिक उल्फ बॉब कैट एंड स्नोवी आउल पोला बेस लिव अलोंग द कोस्टल एरियाज यार इन दिस इमेज यू कैन सी द टुंड्रा एनिमल्स द वेडल सील द पोला बेल द वाइल्ड यार स्नोलेपर्ड स्टोट रेड फॉक्स बेलुगा वेल बेल्ड ईगल अंटार्टिक प्रयोन अमेरिकन पाइका स्नोवी आउल टुंड्रा स्वैन वॉलरस येलो आइट पेंगुइन हार्बर सील के पेट्रल बिग हॉर्न शीप स्नो पेट्रल एल्क एंड द चिन स्ट्रैप पेंगुइन बिकॉज ऑफ द सीवियर विंटर्स मेनी ऑफ द एनिमल्स आर माइग्रेटरी फॉर एग्जाम्पल द मेनी शो बर्ड्स and the water fowl such as ducks and geese nest in the tundra during the summer and migrate south for the winter tiger biome the tiger is 1300 to 1450 km wide zone south of tundra this area has long and cold winters summer temperature ranges from 10 degrees centigrade to 21 degrees centigrade Precipitation ranges about 380 to 1000 mm annually. Here the taiga biome is composed of conifers with needle shaped leaves or scale leaf trees. The taiga is a forest of coniferous trees such as spruce, fir and pine. This is a major source for the logging industry. Important migratory herbivores include moose, elk, deer and reindeer. Moose and reindeer migrate to the taiga for winter and to the tundra for summers. The common smaller mammals are herbivorous squirrels, snowshoe hare and predatory pine martens. Important predators include the timber wolf, grizzly bear, black bear, bobcat and wolverines. Now grassland biome. Grasslands occur in temperate and in tropical regions. they have hot summers cold winters and irregular rainfall often they are characterized by high winds here you can see the grass biome where the animals are grazing the grass the low irregular rainfall is the factor which makes the difference between a temperate deciduous forest and a temperate grassland herbivores like antelope bison wild horse jack rabbit ground squirrel and prairie dogs are abundant predators include coyotes foxes hawks and snakes in india fauna of grasslands include elephant gaur rhino and antelope some of the grassland animals you can see the tiger deer lion hyena cheetah ostrich zebra rhino bison elephant kangaroo armadillo falcon secretary bird snake lizard and the frog the flora of grasslands include purple needle grass wild oats fox tail rye grass some of the other plants blue grama buffalo grass sage brush spear grass aster blazing star sunflower golden rod wild indigo clover bermuda grass candelabra tree elephant grass and whistling thorn alpine biome the alpine biome is a zone between the timber line and the snow zone includes in the descending order a sub snow zone immediately below the snow zone a meadow zone in the center and a shrub zone which gradually merges into the timber zone the snow zone of himalayas lies about 5100 meters above the mean sea level and alpine zone exists at a height of 3600 meters from an ecological point of view the zone above the limits of the tree growth or the timber line exhibits extreme environmental conditions which greatly influence the biota of this region here in this image you can see the alpine tundra seen above the tree line alpine zone of himalayas is characterized by sparseness of animal groups Many invertebrates of alpine zone are predatory and occur in lakes, streams and ponds. Among fishes, 
amphibians and vertebrates are totally lacking and reptilian fauna is greatly impoverished. Flora of alpines include alpine phacelia, bear grass, bristle cone pine, moss campion, polylepis forest, pygmy bitterroot and white potato. Now forest biomes. Forest is a broad term used to describe areas where there are a large number of trees. The forest biomes include a complex assemblage of different kinds of biotic communities. The major forest biomes are the tropical forest and the temperate forest. Here you can see the forest biome. More than half of the earth's tropical forests have already been destroyed. Tropical forest, you can see the colored areas. They occur near the equator between the latitudes of 23.5 degrees at north and 23.5 degrees at south. The major characteristic of the tropical forest is the distinct seasons. Only two seasons are present, rainy and dry. Winter is absent. The length of the daylight is about 12 hours and varies little. The average annual temperature ranges between 20 degrees centigrade and 25 degrees centigrade. Precipitation is evenly distributed throughout the year with the annual rainfall exceeding 2000 mm. Soil is nutrient poor and acidic. Decomposition is rapid and the soils are subject to heavy leaching. Tree canopy is multi-layered and the continuous allowing little light penetration. Flora is highly diverse. One square kilometer may contain as many as 100 different tree species. Trees are 25 to 35 meters tall with buttressed trunks and shallow roots, mostly evergreen with large dark green leaves. Here you can see the layers of the rainforest, undergrowth layer which is about 15 feet in height, about 5 meters, then the understory layer which is about 55 feet height or 29 meters, the canopy layer which is about 95 feet height or around 29 meters and the emergent layer about 125 feet or 38 meters height. Common vegetation are orchids, bromeliads, vines, the lianas, ferns, mosses and palms. They are characterized by greatest diversity of fauna which includes birds, bats, small mammals and insects. Now the temperate forest. In this image you can see the colored areas is the temperate forest. These forests occur in the eastern North America, northeastern Asia and western and central Europe. Have well defined seasons with a distinct winter, moderate climate and a growing season of 140 to 200 days during 4 to 6 frost free months which distinguish temperate forests. Annual temperature varies from minus 30 degrees centigrade to 30 degrees centigrade. Precipitation occurs which is about 750 to 1500 millimeter is distributed evenly throughout the year. Soil is fertile, enriched with decaying litter. Canopy is moderately dense and allows light to penetrate resulting in well developed and richly diversified understory vegetation and stratification of animals. Flora is characterized by three to four tree species per kilometer square. Here you can see the temperate deciduous forest, which has the shrub and the herb foliage below. And above, you can see where the tall tree foliage can be seen. Trees have broad leaves that are lost annually, such as oak, hickory, beech, hemlock, maple, basswood, cottonwood, elm, willow and spring flowering herbs. Fauna consists of squirrels, rabbits, skunks, birds, deer, mountain lion, bobcat, timber wolf, fox and black bear. Only scattered remnants of the original temperate forest remain today. Historically, biomes are known to move as climate changes. A classical example is the Sahara Desert, which Years ago was supposed to be a lush landscape with river flowing through it. Accordingly, appropriate fauna like hippos, giraffes, crocodiles lived amid abundant trees. Over course of time, the climate dried out. It has now become the planet's largest desert. 
the animals have migrated out to the adjacent regions with more favorable conditions. Desert biomes. Deserts come about one fifth of the Earth's surface and occur where rainfall is more than 500 mm per year. Rainfall is usually very low and or concentrated in short bursts between long rainless periods. Here in this image, you can see the different deserts. Number one is the Great Basin Desert. Number two is the Peruvian Desert. Number three is the Atacama Desert. Number four is the Patagonian Desert. Number five is the Sahara Desert. Number six is the Arabian Desert. Number seven is the Turkestan Desert. Number eight is the Great Indian Desert. Number nine is the Gobi Desert. Number 10 is the Kalahari and the Nabib Deserts. Evaporation rates regularly exceed rainfall rates. Soils are coarse textured, shallow, rocky or gravely with good drainage and have no subsurface water. The finer dust and sand particles are blown elsewhere, leaving heavier pieces behind. Sand dunes are common. The image of the sand dunes is given below. Mean annual temperatures range from 20 to 25 degrees centigrade and the extreme maximum ranges from 43.5 to 49 degrees centigrade. Minimum temperatures sometimes drop to minus 18 degrees centigrade based on the temperature range. Deserts can be hot deserts and cold deserts. Hot deserts such as the Sahara of the North Africa and the deserts of the Southwestern US, Mexico, Australia, and India, the Thar Desert, occur at low latitudes. Hot deserts have a considerable amount of specialized vegetation, mostly the xerophytes, aloe, agave, opentia species, euphorbia, roliana, as well as specialized vertebrate and invertebrate animals. Here you can see the common desert xerophyte plants. The dominant animals of warm deserts are reptiles and small mammals. The Indian spine tail lizard the black buck, the white-footed fox are the common fauna of the Thar deserts. There are also insects, arachnids and birds. Here you can see the desert animals, the Bactrian camel, the South African lion, pronghorn, desert recluse spider, Barbary ostrich, coyote, sand cat, desert tortoise, desert spiny lizard, desert cottontail, gila woodpecker, Kit Fox, Tiger Rattlesnake, Golden Eagle, Desert Bighorn Sheep, Cold Deserts. Cold Deserts occur in Antarctic, Greenland and the near Arctic rim parts of USA and in parts of Western Asia and the Ladakh region in India. Widely distributed animals are jackrabbits, kangaroo rats, kangaroo mice, pocket mice, grasshopper mice, antelope and ground squirrels. Rainfall is lowest in the Atacama Desert of Chile, where it averages less than 15 mm. Some years are even rainless. Inland Sahara also receives less than 15 mm rainfall a year. Rainfall in American deserts is higher, almost 280 mm a year. So today, in Organisms and Populations Part 3, we discussed about the concept of biome and the distribution, introduction to biome, types of biomes and the major biomes of the earth. So thank you. Kindly subscribe, like, share and comment to channel Read Med Prep Academy. Kindly register for UG and PG NEET type MCQs in our website www.readmedprepacademy.com Our Facebook ID is Read Med Prep Academy. Our email is readmedprepacademy at gmail.com Our Instagram is Read Med Prep Academy. Don't forget to post your questions in the comment box. We will reply with appropriate answers. Thank you very much.